My name is Juno Dawson and I'm an author. I have always loved horror stories. Um, when I remember when I was way too young watching films like Friday the 13th and Nightmare on Elm Street like way before I was 18 and then when I was a teenager back in the day and um, there was a series called Point Horror and they were just these very quite cheesy quite quite naff horror stories for teenagers and it really surprised me that when YA kind of came back in a big way with kind of Twilight and the Hunger Games there wasn't a lot of horror and so I thought well maybe you need to do some, and that's how I got started. As an author, it's the one that you have the most fun writing, um, because when, once a book is out there, people will interpret your work very differently and everybody has their favourite. But the one that I think I had the most fun working on was Say Her Name, because it was really scary and it was really fun and it was really neat, just to sort of tell a story that takes place over five days and it's just a ghost story. I think my favourite book of all time to read is a children's book by the author Philip Pullman and it's not really the one that he's famous for but it's a book called Clockwork that's just a really nice little dark fairy tale. If one of my books was going to be a film I think again it would have to be Say Her Name because it would make such a nice little horror film. Um, I don't like saying the, the young actors because one of my weird pet peeves is I don't like sort of like 30 year olds playing teenagers. I think it's a bit weird, like in Greece. Um, and so the people who would be in the film, we, we probably don't know them yet because they're too young. And I always sort of think when I'm writing the adult characters, I always sort of think, oh, who might that be? And the headmistress in Say Her Name, I always sort of thought maybe Tilda Swinton, who I adore, or maybe Gillian Anderson. It came about, that one was, mind you, had came about in a funny way, in that it was a real collaboration between me and my editor. Um, it started as something else, but it very quickly became obvious that the problem underlying a lot of the things we were talking about was mental health. And so in the end we said, well, let's just do a book about mental health. And during that process of writing, mind you, I had it was when I was starting my transition, it's when my doctor diagnosed me with anxiety problems, so it became a really interesting sort of journey, kind of, of sort of realising how common mental health problems were, and why it was that I hadn't felt happy to talk about anxiety before, and that's because there is a stigma around mental health. So we all know we all know that mental health is out there. This is a book about hopefully making it easier for young people to talk about it. To keep our brain young is very simple actually. You keep using it. 